Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure a Samba service for file sharing over the network. I will use an Ubuntu desktop, a Windows 10 and a Mac OS as clients to demonstrate the connection to the server. But before we start, let me remind you you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's start. Okay, let's start by installing Samba service and wait a little bit until it finishes and completes the process. It doesn't take too long to complete. And after it's installed, we will begin all the configuration process. So I'm entering a slash etc slash Samba uh, folder and uh, show you the folder contents and open smb.conf file in my editor. The first thing I will do is changing uh, workgroup name. Let's put Linux Tech School. Just to customize is not a very important uh, name. It just gives you the ability to find the correct uh, machines inside uh, the same folder and now here at line 237 I'll create my first shared folder I will call it public share and let's fulfill all the parameters to this shared folder so my public share I will put these uh, in slash mnt slash samba folder in public share so this folder doesn't exist we will create it after this file is completely configured so i need to use browsable directive equals yes so we can browse around the folder and read only equals no i want to get the ability to write new documents and guest OK will be yes, because I want it to uh, allow users to visit without a login and password. So now the second is private share. I will call it my private share has its comment. I will put the same directive path in the same folder mnt samba private share browsable, browsable will be yes also we need it read only will also be no and in this case we need this folder to be closed for the public so only a few members can log in. In this case, my own user in this uh, experiment. So valid users will be only my username. The right list will contain the members of a group I will call Samba. Guess OK in this case will be no to guarantee that login is required and we are done save the file and close now that we have uh, taken care of smb.com file let me add a new group called samba i will add my own user to this new group so user mod is the comment and let me show you with id comment that i am a member of this newly created group called samba Okay, so I don't have any folder here. Let me create Samba folder and change the group it belongs from root to Samba. Now let's get in and create the two new folders we will need. 
the public share and the private share. I will do the same using uh, shown to change the owner of both folders. So they both belong to Samba group, as you can see. Now, let me show you that after SMBD, it's the name of the service. Okay, it stands for SMB protocol and D of daemon. So I have restarted the daemon because we have made some changes to its configuration. And after the service is restarted, we can keep making some more changes. Now I am giving right permissions to the group. And now let me add also permissions to the others because my public share folder will need it. So I have given write, read and execute permissions. And this is the way I have established the security, the permissions to this folder. It's public, so uh, I don't mind that uh, it is uh, configured this way for the public folder. The other one is a different case. To the other one, I need it to really get strict permissions only for the users that I allow. So I have added RS Medias user to the Samba database with SMB PassWD. And now let me install S SMB client to verify that my server is already working properly. So I'll, I'll be connecting locally to my server to see if both shares are already available and as you can see on the list they are so my ip is 10.10.0.1 i'll need this because i need to configure this in my clients for the tests i'll be running from now but before that i need to configure my firewall ufw will have some new rules for protocols net bios and for smb protocol so ports uh, that i need to allow are 137 in udp protocol 138 in also udp 139 in tcp for session and data and 445 so let me show you in ubuntu desktop let me open the file manager go here to other locations and write smb two points slash 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 10.10.0.1 I'm browsing the available folders first I will enter as anonymous to the public share I'm already in I, I will create a new folder okay let me write the name welcome now it's okay and it worked now I will go again to other locations section enter the name again and browse private share put a registered user my own name rs medias and then let me put the password to this user so i mean as you can see let me create also a new folder and i'm done now let's test windows 10 the process is uh, exactly the same i will open the file manager but before let me show you the ip address here in this machine as you can see i have 10.10.0.16 this is an automatic address delivered by a dhcp server in my virtual box for this internal connection so in file manager i'm putting the server address 10.10.0.1 i have entered now let me do the same and create a new folder I will call it in this case uh, Windows so we can differentiate both so welcome is the Linux one Windows is the new one let me do the same here in the private share you, you didn't see a login because it uses Windows login because it's the same and I'm done in Windows now third test using macOS 
I will connect to a server in the Finder application. It's the official file manager. I will put a different address, 192.168.52.1, because I'm using a host only interface for my network. This is my host operating system. I'm in, in the public share, as you can see. I am creating a new folder. Let, let me call it Mac OS to differentiate. Here we go. And then you can see it is working. Now I'm connecting again using my private share folder. Let me put the password. In this case, it doesn't log in automatically. I'm logging in. I choose the private and let me create also a new folder called Mac OS. And I have assured that permissions are okay. So three operating systems have been tested in this experiment. Now moving back to the command line, let's install three package so we can browse the folders on the file sharing service. Let me show you the command I have just installed. So you can see all the folders I have created with my clients while I was connecting remotely. And let me show you the SMB status utility so you can check who is logged in, what the user is doing, process ID, remote IP address, all the information you need to monitor and take care of your server. And as you can see, my service is running properly on my Ubuntu server. So you see here that I have been connecting with nobody and RS Matias, nobody for public share and RS Matias, the registered user for the private share. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel and press the alert button to get notifications about all the new videos I'll be publishing. Thank you guys once again. Bye bye. Take care.